Why did the advanced Avro Arrow fail? The Avro Arrow was once Canada's great hope for becoming a global leader in aerospace technology. A cutting-edge interceptor that promised to revolutionize air defense during the Cold War. Yet, despite its promise and potential, the project was abruptly cancelled in 1959. Why did the advanced Avro Arrow fail? Let's explore the factors that led to the demise of one of the most ambitious aircraft ever developed. Introduction to the Avro Arrow In the early 1950s, with tensions between the West and the Soviet Union rising, Canada found itself on the front lines of Cold War defense. The Royal Canadian Air Force needed an advanced interceptor to protect the North American continent from potential Soviet bombers. The solution was the Avro CF-105 Aero, a sleek, supersonic jet designed to fly faster and higher than anything in the skies. Designed by Avro Canada, the Aero was an engineering marvel. It was equipped with cutting-edge technology, including a delta wing design for supersonic flight, advanced radar, and powerful twin engines. The jet could reach speeds over Mach 2 and was intended to intercept Soviet bombers at high altitudes. But despite its groundbreaking features, the Arrow faced an uphill battle almost from the start. Development challenges and rising costs One of the first reasons the Avro Arrow failed was due to the immense challenges and costs associated with its development. As the project advanced, costs began to spiral out of control. Initial estimates were far surpassed with the Arrow becoming increasingly expensive as engineers pushed the boundaries of what was technologically possible. Canada was a relatively small country in terms of military spending, and funding such an ambitious program was no small feat. By the time the Arrow was ready for production, the cost had ballooned to over $12 million per aircraft, an enormous sum at the time. The growing budget was starting to strain the government's finances, and this would play a crucial role in its eventual cancellation. Political pressure and shifting alliances Another key factor that led to the failure of the Avro Arrow was political pressure and shifting alliances during the Cold War. The political landscape was changing rapidly, and the Canadian government, led by Prime Minister John Diefenbaker, began questioning whether the Arrow was still a viable solution. At the same time, the US was developing its own missile defense systems, such as the Bullmark missile, and pushing Canada to adopt these instead of continuing with the Arrow. The Americans argued that missile technology would make manned interceptors like the Arrow obsolete. The Canadian government, wary of the Arrow's rising costs and influenced by US pressure, started to reconsider its commitment to the project. The Cancellation of the Arrow In February 1959, the Canadian government made the shocking decision to cancel the Avro Aero project altogether. The cancellation stunned the aerospace community and over 14,000 Avro employees lost their jobs overnight. To make matters worse, the government ordered that all prototypes, blueprints, and related materials be destroyed. This move was seen by many as a symbolic burial of what could have been Canada's ticket to aerospace leadership. But why such a drastic measure? Diefenbaker's administration argued that Canada could no longer afford the Aero, and with the rise of missile technology it was unnecessary. Additionally, purchasing American missile systems such as the Bomark was seen as a more cost-effective way to defend Canadian airspace. This decision, however, would go down in history as one of the most controversial moves in Canadian defense policy impact on Canadian aerospace and legacy of the Aero. The cancellation of the Aero had a devastating impact on Canada's aerospace industry. Avro Canada, once a global leader in aviation, was crippled. Many of its top engineers and designers left the country, seeking opportunities abroad, most notably in the United States, where they would go on to contribute to NASA and other American defense projects. The loss of talent from the Aero project had long-term consequences for Canadian innovation, as many of those who left helped shape the U.S. space race and advanced military aviation. The Aero's failure thus marked the end of an era for Canadian aerospace ambitions. Could the Aero have succeeded? The question remains, could the Aero have succeeded if it had been given more time? Some argue that had the Canadian government continued to fund the project, the Aero could have been a game-changer in Cold War air defense. Its advanced technology and speed were unmatched at the time, and the Arrow could have formed the backbone of North American defense against Soviet bombers.